Now that we've completed filling of the Hyperstack 36 vessel, we're ready to chase the residual media and cells back into the bag before we move to the biosafety cabinet to make a sterile disconnect and then put this Hyperstack into the incubator. In order to do that, the first thing we're gonna start with is removing the Nest stainless steel accessory. To do that, we're gonna grab the top tray, we're gonna pivot, stand the Hyperstack up, we're then gonna lift, again, using the top tray just gently to remove the registration tabs from the nest. We can then set that off to the side. Now we're disconnected from the nest. All of our clamps are closed. The first thing that we need to do before we chase this line out is to drop the height of our bag. We're gonna reach over, we're gonna drop this down to the lower shelf, set that bag down. Again, this clamp is open so that we're ready to chase out the media and residual cells. We're now going to utilize our chase filter to again remove any of this residual media and cells back into the bag. So we're going to elevate the chase filter to this highest point here, extend this tubing fully before we open the pure fit clamp. So we open the clamp and just like I mentioned before, physically inspect and depinch that clamp. As we depinch, you see the media that was chased back into the bag. And so that's cleared our line of any residual media. Now, in order to check for pressurization in this vessel, we're also gonna depressurize during this step. In order to do that, we're gonna open not only this pure fit clamp, but the inlet line on the pure fit clamp. That will allow the residual media behind this clamp to drop into the lower liquid handling chamber. And then at the same time to fully depressurize, I'm gonna reach over and open the vent filter clamp as well. So now all three of our clamps are open. We only need to do this for two or three seconds before we can fully close these clamps. This allows us to depressurize the vessel, make sure there's no residual pressure trapped in this hyperstack before it goes into the incubator. Now that we've chased the line, we've also depressurized the hyperstack and go ahead and close our bag. Now we're ready to move into the biosafety cabinet to make a sterile disconnect of these MPCs.